So today we're at Resorts World. Most of you know what I do, and if you don't, here you go. So this guy, Keith McGee, he's uh, the only disabled veteran racer in NASCAR, and he's a great, great NASCAR racer. He reached out to me and said, hey man, a sponsor dropped out. I had this issue, the championship here in Vegas in the end of September. I don't know how I'm gonna make ends meet. We started talking and he said he wants to come out here on his own dime, he wants to give me $10,000. With that $10,000, the hopes is that I run it up to 50,000. I donate the whole 50,000 to his race team and sponsors championship race. Let's see what we can do. What's up, Keith? Thank you. How you doing, man? Good, my guy. All right, Keith, you want to uh, start this off by telling the viewers uh, what happened? Last Monday, I was sitting on my couch doing what I do every every Monday, looking looking for sponsors, checking emails. I took a break and jumped on TikTok. I think like the first video that popped up on TikTok was, I want to say it was the mansion party video. And I was like, dude, this looks like my type of people. Like, this just looks like fun to be at. And I was like, you know, I gotta reach out to him. What do I have to lose? Like, you know, he doesn't read it, says no. Like, you know, that's the worst that could happen. I kind of just told you my story and said, hey, let me bring $10,000 to you and see what we can turn it into so we can go race it. 95% of the people that like hit me up are like, bro, I got $20. Bro, like they see my video where I turned $200 and like 800,000. So a lot of people are like, I got 200 bucks, right? Some people are like, yo, I got a thousand, I got 500. So my minimum usually is like a hundred thousand, right? You know, when I take my piece, it's worth it. But when you hit me with 10,000, the truth was 10,000 is like a super dangerous place to be. It's like not enough juice. You can't afford any bad cards. You just like have to win right away or like you go bust. So I didn't tell you, but now you know, like I had brought my own cash with me, right? Cause I like really wanted to see this work. I don't know, I liked your story, man. We got on the phone like right away. You were like, right away, you're just like easy. I felt like we connected and uh, I'll just give it a shot. And full disclaimer, this ten thousand dollars, literally, was pretty much the last money. <laughs> so, it was go broke or go home type thing. You must have been shaking, you know. You know, when we I first got here, for one, I, I knew that this was a risk. It's gambling, you know. It's not a guarantee, you know. It's all about chances. But I'm I'm into taking risks and chances. That's how I've gotten this far in my career. You know, when we went through the first 10,000 really quick, like I was kind of just like, oh man, I was bummed that it went so quick, not because that we lost that 10,000 that I brought, but just because I was like, man, I, I wanted this to like last a lot longer. Like Mickey's a cool dude and just getting to spend time with him. I was like, I want this to last longer than, than what it did. And then he, he goes, don't worry, man. And he pulled out his own money. I was just like, all right, this is cool, all right. And last night, I, I don't know, I was like, it was kind of just like in a dream state. When he stood up and said, man, we're going racing, it was just like, everything just got like super foggy and it was just like, I was shaking. We won here, we have a little over 80,000, so he's gonna go racing. We started with 10, went up 35, dropped down to two. And then from 2,000, we ran it up to a little over 81,000. In one day. So Keith came here, he brought 10,000. We ended up cashing out 81,100. Now there's only one thing left to do. Time to race, baby. 